All right, time to talk sports here on Join News today with me, Benedict Tools. We'll go straight into it. And Black Salite coach Jimmy Kobla is hopeful of making the next stage of the ongoing African Youth Championship despite their 2 0 defeat to Senegal yesterday. Now, Ghana could not contain the brilliance and excellence of the Senegalese team as said they recorded their first defeat of the competition. Jimmy Kobla and his team must now win or draw their last game against Mali to book a place in the next stage of the competition. The former Interallies manager thinks they are capable of doing that. I don't know where they're coming from, seeing Mali as their second favorite, but that is their choice. Uh, we will go in very strongly. As we said, uh, we came into this tournament because uh, people were saying that we're the weakest team because there's no competition in our country. And uh, in our preparation, we were losing. But I want to uh, say that uh, we will never go out without uh, a medal. We are sure of qualifying to the World Cup on the day when we meet Mali. Well, away from the Black Starlight, Hato Four coach Kim Grant says he's been impressed with the work done so far at the club. Now, the uh, club have made new additions in every department and clearly have noted their readiness to participate well in every competition. Coach Grant is thrilled with work done on the team. Yeah, because we haven't actually played on a very, very good pitch at the moment. Even Poppy Man's pitch is not great. We're going to try and work on it to make it better. Very, very little time and the, the impact so far. And I, it's not just about me as well. You have to, I think, look at the players. They've bought into what I want to do and they are, they are happy. And, you know, my, my training sessions are not easy. And you have to have that character, the attitude, the mindset to want to win. And I want winners in my team, and both on and off the field, and players, including my staff. And uh, and I'm really, really pleased, and I'm proud of the boys today, because uh, it's not easy just to travel as well, four or five hours, come and play straight up, because we didn't stay overnight, we came the same day. You know, we left six o'clock in the morning. So it's there's lots and lots of characters now, and I think most important, actually, the players are starting to believe that they are good players. All right, so that was our Sir Bediakos report. Join us at 2 on Sports Today for more sports. I'm Benedict Tosi. Thanks for our company.